Hello everybody and welcome back. Charmaine Fraser's account from Scotland um, is an amazing account and when I first met Charmaine we were for the first time meeting people who'd seen similar things to what we'd both seen as a child and it was very refreshing and Charmaine is a researcher now like myself so I brought thought I'd bring some of Charmaine's accounts to you and we'll start with her original account and she says these experiences happened at my grandparents property out in Carmely Forest and we spent a lot of our childhood there at the farmhouse it was very heavily wooded back then and there was a quarry and streams and my brother currently lives there the area has changed in the last 30 years which is quite remote the first incident took place during the day when I was sent out to get the newspapers. They got delivered to the neighbours at the bottom of the road. I was with the dog and we were coming down the long path that leads to the track, running past the bottom of the property and out onto the farm road. And just before I got onto the track, the dog stopped suddenly and started to growl and whine and bare her teeth. I remember the hair, seeing the hair rising on her back. I carried on past her for a few paces, ending up on the track. I just thought she'd heard a fox or something, and that I'd spooked her. I carried on to get the newspapers, and I looked up at that moment, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I saw a large black figure further along the track, standing with its back to me. I don't think it knew I was there, or just it wasn't bothered by me being there. It was reaching up to a branch on a tree, and it just carried on as if I wasn't watching. It was at the side of the track and it was very tall. It had a thick build with no neck and wide shoulders and it was hairy all over. I remember standing in shock for a second or two before screaming and turning to run back to the house. As I screamed, it slowly started to turn around but I didn't hang about to see its face. Needless to say, my reports of seeing a monster were not taken seriously and dismissed as it probably being a neighbour. I can't give you an exact year, but it was a, I was around eight or nine, so my estimation would be about primary five, because I remember drawing a picture of it when I was in school. So that puts it around 80, 81, and I don't have an exact time of year, but the leaves are out on the tree, so it would have been sometime between early summer and autumn. There were two thir further incidents around that time, but they're more tenuous, I feel, but I share them in the hope somebody remembers another account like mine. Late at night, when we were driving along the empty road, we were coming up the road in the car, and just as we were turning right onto the track, there was a figure further up. He was up the road facing us, and he was looking towards the headlights of the car. You couldn't see him clearly, but I briefly made out a humanoid shape. And there was an orangey eye shine reflecting from the lights. It was just standing in the middle of the road looking at us. At the time, I told myself it was probably just a person. And the final incident was when we were out picking wild raspberries. And we heard something way back in the woods, a long, deep wail. The adults in the group looked at each other and commented on the howl, wondering what it was. But then they just dismissed it and carried on with what they were doing. Many strange things happen at Carmely. The quarry has been a place many locals avoid, with finds of bones and den like structures, and other people in the area have reported accounts to me uh, of the beach in Girard, and I've passed them on to Charmaine. And it's heavily wooded, uh, wooded sorry, and one of the places here in the UK that is ideal habitat for anyone when wanting to remain unseen. Charmaine has found many witnesses all across Scotland who saw something similar to herself on the 31st of July 2016. She made this report in the British Bigfoot Research Group, of which Charmaine is a member. This is a report I was sent regarding a possible sighting. I consequently went and investigated the area and a structure was found around the same spot this happened in. The report happened less than 25 kilometres from Charmaine's childhood account. The witness said, I just wanted to contact you to tell you about a sighting my wife had last Sunday evening around 7.30, it was 2016, and we were driving along a wooded section of the A926 near Ailth towards Kirrimore. I was driving and didn't see anything, 
but my wife was in the back suddenly and she said, did you see that? She said she saw something a distance ahead on the verge of the road within the dense woodland that she initially thought was a man walking, but then it leapt further into the wood. It was moving very quickly and then stopped. She said it looked like a black shadow and it was tall and wide. And she said she got the impression it was about to cross the road and that then let back deeper into the wood upon hearing the car. And she was a bit shaken up and said her hair was standing up on end. Now I probably would have turned the car around and had a look myself if it was just me and the wife. But my auntie was in the car and she'd been woken by the commotion and she was not impressed. She's considered every other logical normal reason, such as a deer or a hiker, but she didn't believe they could look like this thing that she saw. Anyway, it may just have been an optical illusion that made something normal seem unusual. But I thought I would tell you about it, as I understand you are researching the phenomena. Now, we will bring you some of Charmaine's other accounts over the coming months. There are many across Scotland, and Charmaine is also an active outdoors researcher and is collecting evidence of the kilted wild man. Please get in touch with myself or Charmaine if you've had a similar account in this area or anywhere across the UK or know anybody that has. Um, and thank you for tuning in. So until next time, thank you very much. Good night.